Good morning! <laughs> Currently right now, Hurricane Idalia has been making landfall and is going over the northern part of the Florida state. And we are here at Universal's Aventura Resort. <laughs> People are still enjoying themselves, but that is because Adalia is moving across the northern part of the state, so it is not really impacting Orlando. That said, the storm surge was pretty hefty in Tampa, and I know a lot of people who had to evacuate there. But it's great here. The weather isn't too hot because, <laughs> because the storm has been going through. And I'm just gonna show you guys around. One of my favorite reasons for staying at Aventura is the amazing views. But the other reason why I love staying here, besides the super short hallways, so it takes me hardly any time to get to my room, is the fact that I can walk right out the front doors and I can take myself right over here to the bus. Or if I don't wanna ride the bus, I can go right behind over here to Sapphire Falls and I can enjoy a walk or a water taxi ride over to City Walk. On top of it actually looks like this fidget spinner. And then down each way, there's actually different colors so sorry about that um you can you can see very clearly where you need to go she said i was down the pink hallway and i'm in room 1255 so let's go check it out all right so extremely sleek modern design design it's very very contemporary that shower is actually really really tall um when i stand next to it and i am in between 5'8 and 5'9, there's still like two more feet until like the rod for the shower curtain. Um, but very, very cool, very, very simplistic, but still very just cool in the aesthetic. Um, these rooms, one of the things that's really, really funky about them is actually all the lighting, the TV, and all kinds is controlled from this iPad. So <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun fiddling with that later. Um, I do have tw two queen beds. I have a colleague that's gonna be here on Wednesday. You can see over here um, the Hogwarts castle, which actually has to ride the Forbidden Journey. You can see Velocicoaster um, spinning around. Whoa, sorry, I went off over here. And then here's the top hat for it. You can see almost everything in Islands of Adventure because that's the side we're on. And then you can see back over here, you can see a little bit of Red Rocket, which is on the Universal Studio side of the theme parks. Um, Otherwise, this resort right here is Sapphire Falls. Really, really pretty. You can take boat transportation from here over to where City Walk is. This is Royal Pacific. And then over here, you can see Cabana Bay. You can see the hotel is right here. You can walk through the center up to this sidewalk and there is Sapphire Falls. It's such a pretty walk when it's not dreary and raining. Here's the thing, it takes five minutes to walk over from Aventura. And if you maybe are looking just for a different dining experience or maybe you're a rum aficionado, there is a restaurant in here called Strong Water Tavern and it has more than 60 different types of rum. It's amazing. Mm, I love getting closer to these resorts. You can smell it and it smells so lovely. It smells like blossoms. Oh, it's so nice. So let me show you just how close this is. 
we've been talking pretty much this whole walk over. There's Aventura, and here it is. All you have to do is walk right inside. of where the water taxi picks you up over here at Sapphire Falls and instead of waiting for the water taxi to come back I'm actually gonna take the path and I'm gonna see just how long this takes me I'm gonna time it and I'm also gonna start an exercise on my watch so we can see what my pace is and what the distance is let's figure out how long this takes me City walk. It took me officially, oh my gosh, let me pull it back up. Total time was 11 minutes and 47 seconds, including going through security and there were people with me. The distance was 0.57 of a mile, so just under two thirds of a mile, a little over a half. And my average pace was 20 minutes a mile. So I was moving, but not really fast. So that's not bad at all. Now, for some people, that may take longer. I'm pretty sure Universal told us that it's a 25 minute walk from Sapphire Falls. And if you're a faster walker, it'll take you like 12 or 10. <laughs> you can see those clouds are really blowing by. The mist from the universal globe is just <laughs> And the rain is coming down pretty good, but nothing terrible. Let's at least walk in just a little bit of Islands of Adventure, just because. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, it's hitting me in the face, but <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? It's water, it'll dry. I have on actually these really great shoes. So Adidas, I think they're called like super, oh, I don't remember. I'll put it here, cause I can't remember. But, ooh, squirrel, a squirrel moment. I'm gonna get more coffee. Okay, anyway, what I was gonna say was is my shoes, one of the things that's really nice about them is that they're a faux leather and they're not getting wet at all. And I tested this out when I was down here for the last trip and it was just great because it was so rainy, it was so dreary, but my feet didn't get wet at all. So there wasn't any concerns. So I can just walk around and enjoy my day and have a fabulous time. <laughs> I've got something. So I'd love to get the brown sugar shakens from Starbucks. I like it because it feels like a fall drink, but I can drink it cold in the summer and it's just mm, nummy tasty. But because pumpkin spice is out, you got a brown sugar shaken, but sub the brown sugar for pumpkin spice. So happy, so happy. So I'm actually walking from the entrance. I'm walking straight forward. There is actually a smoking spot over here, but because there's hardly anyone here, I don't have to think about that, but it's also a really great spot. to check out the views. I mean, let's just walk around this spot for a minute and soak it in. Ah, my gosh. See, look, people are riding the, riding the Carasusel. I love those. I'm pretty sure those trees are from Hurricane Andrew. These palms that are right here, but they're all bent. They were saved. Let's walk down to this lower ramp. Yes. It's so good. Come on, guys. 
Now, obviously, some of the coasters aren't running, okay? Like, look at this view. It's just so nice. I don't even care that it's, I mean, it's not even raining that hard. It's what I would consider drizzling. Now, you can tell, obviously, Velocicoaster isn't running. It's breezy. I think it's more for the rain than anything else. But, I mean, if you look up, you can, I don't know if you can tell, there's very low cloud cover, and it's moving pretty quickly. So, up near the top hat, it's probably breezy a little, a little bit breezy up there. Let's walk over. But you can see this trail goes all around over here, but this is one of my favorite spots to come to. There's just so many pathways like this. So you can see smoking section. And I mean, that's nice that it's way over here away from people, but what stinks I think about that is the fact that you have a smoking section where there's just a really great spot to take in some views. So, I mean, you can walk all down here underneath the Carasusel. You can walk over here from um, into Lost Continent. You can walk over here and across this, uh, where are we? You can walk across the bridge that's over here. So over here, you can walk around over by Blue Dose, Popeye and Blue Dose, and then here's the Hulk. This is a really great spot to watch it go by. I mean, it's right above your head. But it's just, it's so quiet. There's hardly anyone here. And probably because there isn't as much to do. But honestly, honestly, if you're already on site, I mean, it's, why not? Why not at least come and check out some stuff? You know, especially if you have the tickets, don't let them go to waste. Go inside the Jurassic Park Center and go play with some of the toys there. Go do some of the indoor experiences. There's a really great character dining experience here at Marvel Island where you can see all the Marvel characters. You know, and there's still the carousel and the carousel as you saw. There's so many different things you can do here, even when it's raining. It feels just so good to be on site. There's a lot of people with ponchos, but it's honestly just not raining enough for that. And what stinks is like, it's still really humid. The temp isn't that high, but it's still really humid. So you're gonna walk around, you're gonna sweat, and then the poncho is gonna stick to you, like my hair is. So I'm anti-poncho, but to each their own. We are here before Halloween Horror Night starts and we are going to go check out the Tribute Store. It opens up for a preview for annual pass holders today at 11 o'clock. It's currently 10.23 so I have a little bit of time to slow down, finish consuming my coffee and just enjoy the ambiance and the minions. There's minions everywhere.
but that trivia store was cool and it was fun and honestly i only got soaked because i had to stay in line so i could go into it when it opened for previews but it was worth it hundred dollars later got some fun merch and uh now i'm gonna go back to the hotel and get some lunch breakfast because i haven't eaten yet and dry off <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a preview into the trivia store i hope this was some good information and i hope that you learned something i hope that it doesn't deter you from coming if there's some kind of a storm just know how it may impact you and understand that you need to plan accordingly so cheers thank you so much for watching if this was helpful for you i really hope that you will click the subscribe button and like and follow for more because i'm here to help you learn and help you do your best to live your version of a brilliant bold beautifully empowered life at the theme parks cheers